Hi, I'm Tina Hill. I am half of uh, Ladies of the Lanai, and we are back with Ask a Villager. So we're going to just hop right in with our rapid fire questions. Could you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Marianne Cospadil. Um, What village do you live in? I live in the village of Deluna. Like me. Um, why did you decide to buy in Deluna as opposed to other villages? I, when I walked in my house and I saw the view in the back, I said, this is it. It's a beautiful view. Um, are you a snowbird, a snowflake, or a frog? I'm half a frog. <laughs> <laughs> I live here full time. I'm not 100% sure I'll retire here, but I am retired, but I'm not 100% okay. sure I'll buy here. Okay. Um, where did you live before moving to the villages? We lived about 50 minutes north of Manhattan in the mm -hmm. suburb. Okay. Um, how long have you lived in the villages? A little over three years. Okay. Almost an old timer. Almost an old timer. Almost, compared to me. Um, how many times have you moved in the villages? This is our first house so far. Okay. But for some reason, I, I always feel like this is your second house. I don't know why. Uh, when we did move here, we did rent a furnished villa while we looked around to see what village we wanted to live in. Okay. But you liked the area of Deluna? I liked the area of Deluna. Okay. Um, so, uh, well, this is, are you retired, still working full or part-time? Retired. Woohoo! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I just joined the ranks with you. Yay! Um, what's your favorite venue for enjoying live music? Live music. We love Brownwood Square. Okay. It is our favorite. Um, and it's close. And it's close. It's about six minutes in a golf cart. Okay. Um, favorite band in the villages? Hands down, Blonde's Ambition. Sammy, Sam, come over here. That's they have a wonderful dog. Dog. Sammy. <laughs> come here, baby. My dog is. You want a cookie? Come over here. Yeah. Come here. Come on. Let's come be here. a good boy. Come here. Come here. He's a special guest. Who has the best? Pizza. Oh, so America. how would you, why would you ask that? We used to own a pizzeria, but yeah. today, and we went to Flippers and we love the pizza at Flippers. Okay. So this is not only a, a New York person, but a pizzeria owner, former pizzeria owner. Hardest job I ever had in my life. Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> favorite spot for breakfast or brunch? I like two J's in Brownwood. I can have my bagel with lox and cream cheese. Our New York girl. Our New York girl. Um, favorite spot for dancing, because we know you love to dance. We love to dance, and Brownwood is our favorite spot. Funny and room. does John dance with you? John dances. He dances wonderfully. We get lots of compliments. I, I'm surprised, because he seems very reserved and, and won't dance. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. Okay. <laughs> My mother always told me. <laughs> um, best advice for airport transportation? Drive yourself. Okay. We had a driver, Jason, and then he retired. Okay. And there's no problem with parking and getting to the terminal and you know, if we drive ourselves to Orlando, Tampa, cruise ports, okay. park in there, on-site parking, and you're good to go. Okay. Favorite pool or golf course? I'm not telling you because I don't want you to come. And That's make not it more fair. crowded. Can we... you whisper to me? <laughs> um. <laughs> Favorite club you belong to in the villages? Oh, that would be the Deluna Wine Club. And, my and club. why is that? <laughs> my club. Tina belongs to our I club. I do. But Mary, no... I was going to say Marianne and her husband run the, the wine club. Yes, and there's no membership fee. And you could just make a comment on this, and Tina will let us know if you'd like to join. It's usually, it's every other month. Every month we have an event um, that the members are now planning. They pick a venue, and then there's a specific price, and it's all inclusive, and we have a wonderful time. Um, golf cart, gas or electric? Gas, because it's one hour up to the top <laughs> of the villages and one hour back. Okay. Lots to do on the way. There is. Um, best place for food shopping? Aldi's. Aldi's, okay. Aldi's, Sam's Club, Menwin, Dixie. Okay. Um, favorite beach that you can drive to from the villages? Because I know you're a beach girl. Yes, we joined a beach club, and then every month we go to a different beach, and it could be the East Coast, the West Coast. I, The last one I think I went to, or the second to last one, was Daytona. You can drive on the beach, you just open your trunk and pull out your coolers and your chairs and everything. But we do go to quite a few on the West Coast. I just can't remember their name. <laughs> she doesn't want to tell us which one it is. Just like the pool. Ah. 
Um, favorite place in the visit in the visitor. Favorite place in the village is to take visitors. We always take them to Eisenhower Rec Center. That's a dedication to all the presidents. There's Fanny. Um, they have a nature trail. They have the pool where you can eat and drink. And oh, they do have a more recent rec center um, that we take people to. Is first responders. Oh, dedication. I haven't been there yet. Oh, it's nice. I heard it's amazing. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. I have to make a point of seeing that one. Um, what's the best kept secret in the villages? I can't tell you because it wouldn't be a secret. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not fair. Okay. You have All to right. move here and then we'll tell you. Okay. It's a deal. Um, your advice for making friends and meeting new people in the villages. Join clubs, join exercise classes. I mean, you can't help but start talking to the person next to you. And before you know it, you're exchanging phone numbers and going out to lunch, dinner. Right. Because that's how we met. Right. We met at Walking Away the Pounds. And then um, then we did cardio drumming together. We got out to meals together. We went on vacation together. We've, we've done a lot of stuff. Every village has a social club. So whatever village you live in, join mm -hmm. the social club and you can start making friends there also. If you're not a physically active person, you want to play cards or this and that. There, you don't have to be phys physical right. to make friends. You can just be social. Yes. Okay. So social. Um, what's something that surprised you after you moved to the villages since you jumped right in? I did not expect homes to be as much as they were. I thought Florida would be lower priced homes, but I never thought. It's like being on vacation every day. Yes. That is a total surprise. I mean, it's exhausting some days. <laughs> some days you say, tomorrow I am not going out. Of, I'm not going out of the house. I'm not getting out of my pajamas. There's just stuff to do all day long. And you meet people and they say, well, what are you doing tonight? Well, I thought I was going home and resting, but I guess I'm not. Right. You're very social. You're as, as social as I am. She has a very, very busy calendar. Um, something you learn how to do after when you moved to the villages. Pickleball. Okay. Love it. That's that's a big sport here. That's something I still have to try. Oh, and cardio drumming. I never did oh, that Oh, that's before. right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, something you wish you knew before moving to the villages. Hmm. Oh, I had that on the tip of my tongue, but I forgot. <laughs> I don't know. If you think of it, we'll come back to that. Yeah. You can blurt it out. Um, what did your family and friends say when you moved to the villages? Why are you going to Florida? It's so hot. <laughs> But your body adjusts, believe me, it does. Okay. Um, complete this sentence. You'd never believe it, but in my life before the villages, I... <laughs> I'm not telling you. Okay. Not I'm, telling you. I, just I might be afraid to know that answer. Make comments what you think of okay. us. When you comment on this video, put what you think I used to do before okay. I moved here and retired. Um, okay, finish this sentence. I really wish the villages had... Oh, guards, real guards at the gate that scanned you took your license but we can't because they're county roads okay i was just gonna say trader joe's ah. for me <laughs> um and then lastly complete this sentence i think eastport will be fantastic absolutely fan. i've seen the plans now for about two years we meet with the developer in a, in a venue he and it's a question and answer thing so we know things before they come down the pipeline and he is He's been pretty forthright yes. with what's happening. Uh, what's the restaurant? We knew two years ago about the restaurant that was opening in Oklahoma. Oh, Harry and the Natives? Harry and the Natives. Because two, two years ago when we went to meet the developer, he told us it was going to be there. Um, it's Eastport, the way he describes it, is going to be unbelievable. Yeah. And from the, the pictures that they, the renderings that they've shared online, it looks pretty amazing too. So hopefully that'll be soon. Soon, in hopefully. The next year or two the bridge is open yes um, so getting there okay um and that's it for ask a villager Thank thanks you. for sharing sharing your wealth of knowledge and some of your secrets <laughs> but, not, but not all of them well we appreciate you sharing these videos and we watch them every week and so okay. should you <laughs> and you need to comment and like them and and it's people like tina and the rest <laughs> of us that volunteer our services here to make everybody else happy Thank you. Thank you. Like Bye. and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>